Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 20-year-old college football player. He injured his ankle about six weeks ago, continued pain. He had a lot of swelling apparently at the beginning, but now it's gone way down, but still has a little bit of ankle pain. He just wants to make sure things are good before he goes back there and plays at a high level. So on this lateral, or we call it sagittal view of the ankle, we can see the Achilles tendon coming down, attaching on the back of the calcaneus. We see the plantar fascia down here looking great. We see the tibia come down to the ankle joint. This is the talar dome. This bone is the talus. And we see that there's fluid, which is white, in that joint, which is abnormal. So we know something's going on. There's a joint effusion. The next thing to do is do a view like this. We call this an axial view, where we can see the front over here. Here's the back. In the back, we see the Achilles tendon, which looks normal. And then the next thing to do is go on the lateral side, outside. The most common injury is a tear of a ligament here called the anterior talofibular ligament. When you have lateral sprains, almost invariably this is the tendon that's torn, or ligament that's torn. So this is the talus, fibula, and this is anterior, this is posterior, so we call this the anterior talofibular ligament. And this is intact. Again, most of the time this is torn. When this is intact, you're pretty confident that uh, nothing else is going to be going on on the lateral side. But if this is torn, then you have to look carefully at the other ones. But in this one, this looks good. The anterior talofibular ligament that provides lateral stability is good. This thick one here is called the posterior talofibular ligament. It's almost never torn. This is really strong. So you expect this one to be intact. We have another one down here called the calcaneofibular ligament that comes off the calcaneus. And it wraps underneath these perineus tendons and goes up to the fibula. I don't see it in this patient. It's probably torn. Just don't see it uh, very well. And if we go up now, there's another set of ligaments above. These are called the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments. So here's the tibia, here's the fibula, and this has an anterior and posterior. And this one is torn, or the set is torn. So this is the anterior tibiofibular ligament. Sometimes it's hard to see. It's very small, but in this case, we see bright uh, fluid or signal uh, in between where we should see that anterior tibiofibular ligament. And in the back as well, we see this little dark line here. We just don't see a black line clearly connecting these two. So this patient has uh, an injury of their anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments, either high-grade partial or complete tears of those. And then the next thing to do is roll on up. There's one more ligament up high. If we go up, 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 it's between the tibia and fibula, but higher up. And you can see the little linear band here. This is called the interosseous membrane or the syndesmotic ligament. And it goes between the two, and it's pretty hard to see, but uh, when people have tears of these ligaments here, and especially up here, we call it a high ankle sprain. But in this patient, it looks like they have just a tear of the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments, and interestingly, their anterior talofibular ligament, which is almost always torn, is uh, perfectly fine. Now, it's really important to find that syndesmotic ligament up here. This looks like part of it here, and so I do not think that's completely torn. It may be strained. Uh, but when they have a tear of this and this top one's here, then the tibia and fibula can widen and that can be a serious injury and maybe even indicate that they have a fracture up higher in the fibula. And uh, so we will mention that since these ones are torn, they probably should do an, uh, an x-ray of the whole leg just to look at that fibula approximately. Now this patient had one other finding, which is over here. They had a stress injury or non-displaced fracture here of the medial malleolus. As the tibia comes down, Here's the medial side, and this bone had an injury, so that's part of the reason why they're hurting so bad and continue to hurt. Luckily, it's not displaced, and there's another ligament down here called the deltoid ligament that was a little thick, had a strain, or a sprain, rather. So, that's it. They have uh, injuries of the medial and lateral uh, ligaments of the ankle, and then marrow edema related to a bone a contusion or stress injury or non-displaced fracture, but no displaced fracture. And then there's one more thing here. We look at this ankle mortis. The talus and tibia come together. And we just make sure that everything is congruent, nice and even. There's no widening here or uh, widening here. And that looks good. So thank you very much.